hot toddy. Mrs. Clinton, uh, I want to remind you, you said something about Donald Trump. And, well, you've said a lot about Donald Trump. Oh, you've called him unfit, you and Obama and some others. I wonder what your definition of unfit is. <laughs> Look at yourself, number one. And from there, uh, from there I want to ask you, I'm Margaret Ann Windsor. Last time I looked, I'm a woman. I'm a lady. I'm a victim of the United States abuse. I was kidnapped and brought over here in 41 at age two. My father is Edward VIII, the real one, not the imposter that was put in there and married Wallace Simpson. My father was married to American Claudia Ruth O'Keefe Windsor, a school teacher and sister to artist Georgia O'Keefe. Um, now then, you took down you and the people that you remember, your buddies, Rothschilds, Rockefellers, and you know I'll question Warren Buffett. He owns the uh, paper, Roanoke Times, that uh, should be telling the truth about me. Why have you kept me hidden, you freedom of the press, freedom of speech, and all that, which is a total lie. I hope it's laid out before the world what you did to me and my children and to my mom and dad and country. Look at it, because you went in with illegal treaties. You inserted your own monarch, George the Illegal VI, and Elizabeth is illegal, and thus it starts the Jewish um dictatorship because um, what's her name excuse me for not kneeling before her um, her mother's Jewish and so this was said some time back that you would have a Jewish uh, monarchy in Britain if it's still left there the way it's going uh, but anyway, I'm wondering here, what I wanted to go back to and say is that uh, Hillary made a comment and talking about um, well, really, she was talking about, uh, she only mentioned one, Bin Laden. She talked about uh, taking out world leaders. Saddam Hussein, bin Laden, now then uh, Assad, and uh, going on. But the ones that they don't talk about, they made them bad. You have to make somebody look bad to um, get them and take everything they got and send your army over to beat the hell out of them. I hope I'm not banned for saying hell. Is, is that wrong? <laughs> oh, I can find some really descriptive words for all of you, but they don't touch it. But anyway, you fail to tell about this, and somebody will tune this out before they get to it. Uh, you said that uh, you were busy uh, working to take out Bin Laden. And uh, something about the situation room you were in, while Donald Trump was what? On his program, he had, he had a program, The Apprentice. Okay, so in other words, what's being said here is you have to be one of the in crowd, and that's the people that kidnapped me, the Jews, the Kennedys. It doesn't matter that Kennedy uh, and his dad helped kidnap me, and yes, they did. 1941, Joe Kennedy was ambassador to England, sent there by another Jew, J um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. So you stole the British crown, put it on George the Sixth illegal, Elizabeth, and now then move it on down past Charles, and you got, uh, yeah, let's pass Charles. Look what he did. My, everything was a lie, they said, about my dad. They had him marrying Wallace Simpson, and an imposter was used and did all the antics that's attributed to my father, the sick mess that uh, they put a um, seal on, and then they unsealed it. It was a 99-year seal, and it was unsealed a few years ago. 
wonder why. It was all lies. It was the most stupid thing you've ever heard. Okay, now then, back to Hillary. She was saying that they were busy uh, getting rid of all these bad world leaders, bin Laden, etc. She failed to mention my dad about the lies and the takedown of my dad and kidnapping me, Victoria II, because it went through channels. I am the legal heir. There was an addendum to my father's forced abdication, so it was a forced removal, and he intended to come back and get it. But in the addendum, he said if he should have a future heir, it would not disinherit. This went through channels the proper procedure, and I am the legal heir. So they had to kidnap me in 41, and brought me to Moulton, Alabama, and gave me the name of a twin that was dead, Peggy Dempsey Childers. And, well, I'm that's my name. I had to take her name, Peggy Ann Dempsey, and I married Childers. Carl Preston Dempsey was the twin. Both of them were killed by their mother. They were born out of wedlock. Now I want to get to this, and really this should have gone first. You were taking out leaders, uh, Hillary Clinton, way back then. And you're a part of that global government, the Illuminati, that owns um, NBC, because they really do. I think they say who uh, Walt Disney does. But uh, your media is controlled by the Rockefellers and Rothschilds. And um, they're making fun of Donald Trump. It really gets me. And you're busy taking out leaders and calling them mean. And you can't even tell the truth. So I want to say this, though. Your daughter, Chelsea, if this had happened to her, there would have been such an uproar or her child uh, that you wouldn't hear the end of it. Because, hey, you're Americans. You are above the law. All right, now here's the next one. You sent, well, if you get Hillary, you get Bill. Uh, that's a joke, and you know it is. Roundabout way for Bill to get back into the White House. Okay, now then, your daughter Chelsea said that in uh, a comment, because she got to go to Oxford while I was waiting tables and going to school and working seven days a week trying to get away from this woman, Lina Dempsey, where you put me that had killed her twins. You're part of that group. You remember high standing, so is Elizabeth and Charles. So I can say that, can I? Uh, anyway, your daughter Chelsea went to Oxford and enjoyed all the luxuries in life. Guess who paid for it? Yes, I did. My money and everything that come with it, and I have nothing but pain and suffering and wondering if my sons are alive, their heirs after me. Now then, Chelsea said in a remark that the one thing she was proudest of, if she had to say that her father did, was brokering the uh, peace in Northern Ireland. What gave your father the right to go to Northern Ireland. That's British. And brokering the deal, you all, the United States, used to set it up. You sent the uh, um, money and materials into Ireland to come in to the UK and bomb it. You supplied the money and, and things that did that, the IRA. You supplied them. Okay, now then, I'm the one that should be making deals, if there's deals made or treaties. Not you, dear. They're illegal, too. And uh, I want to end this by saying, because so much has been done to me uh, and my family, mom and dad and my country is uh, hot toddy to you, too, dear.